Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow watermelon in lead pot max 21 pod hydroponic system. This variety is called golden mizzard. I already have two seedlings growing in this aero garden bounty elite. These seedlings are 13 days old. I started these from seeds. Now I am going to transplant one of these seedlings into lead pot max and see how that's going to turn out in lead pot. Here we go. Wow, it has nice root system. Just gently pulling it. That's it. It is all set. Now let me mention about the nutrition. I will use aerogoda nutrients throughout this grow cycle and I will use 4 ml for every 1 liter of water. Once the plants started flowering, I will bump it up and add 5 ml for every 1 liter of water and I will stick to that. It's been 16 days. The plant is coming excellent and it is showing a nice progress with multiple real leaves. It's day 24 and the plant is coming excellent. It started producing nice wine and look closely what i have today that's the baby watermelon i'm not excited because i don't really have any hopes on this first one but let's see where will it end up it's day 27 look at this i see the first flower but i'm not too excited because i cannot pollinate this flower i don't see any male flowers yet but it is definitely exciting to see the flower on day 27 and it's a female flower because i can see a small baby watermelon behind the flower it's day 32 the previous female flowers giving up they are drying up and they are pretty much gone this is the first one and here is the second one this is also gave up but this is expected because i did not pollinate these female flowers today i see two male flowers one is here and the other one is here but unfortunately these male flowers have no use because I don't see any female flowers on the plant but not an issue. I see the plant is coming very nice it produced so many vines and I see lots of flower boards showing up on all the vines. Looking at this vine I see a couple of male flowers one here and one here and going to this vine I see a nice female flower coming up here so now i see a mix of both male and female flowers hopefully i can get both uh, bloomed at the same time and i will be able to pollinate those flowers and eventually get some watermelon just finger crossed and i'm going to wait and see it's day 35 i finally see one male flower and one female flower at the same time on this plant and i helped them with pollination using a paintbrush I simply transfer the pollen from a male flower to a female flower. Hopefully that's going to work. If not, nothing to worry about. I see a bunch of flowers ready to bloom. So I'm pretty confident that it is going to work out. It's day 38. I see lots of flowers now. Just to call out a few. Here is a male flower and here is a male flower. Here is another male flower. Here is one more, then the female flowers, here is one and here is another one. This one I pollinated uh, in last two days and this one opened up today and I just pollinated it. So this is going well. I see lots of flowers and uh, I am doing my best to pollinate all these flowers. Let's see if any of these will survive. It's day 41. None of the baby watermelons have survived. Here is the first one and here is one more. This is still green. I recently pollinated it, I think uh, two to three days ago. But it is not showing any progress. So I can consider this is gone. Right next to it, there is one more watermelon. This started turning yellow. So this is gone. From now on, I am going to change the pollination method. Let me quickly talk about the new pollination method that I will be using for rest of this experiment. There are many ways we can pollinate. The most popular method is 
take a paint brush and collect the pollen from the male flower and transfer it onto the female flower but for me the most effective method is take the male flower entirely just cut it off and remove the petals or just twist them to the back so that we can see the center of the flower clearly now tap the male flower onto the female flower don't press it too hard we don't want to spoil the pollen just keep tapping a couple of times gently in this method the pollen will be released from the male flower and that will be transferred onto the female flower it's day 53 I have some good news. I see one baby melon showing a little progress. Most of the babies gave up so quick, but this one is definitely showing some progress. It is still too small though. I don't have full confidence on this, but this is definitely a great hope. At least this confirms that the pollination is working. So I can continue doing my job and let the plants do their job. I'm still seeing some new flowers and I am doing my best to pollinate these flowers. I am following the same method. I am taking out the male flower and tapping it onto the female flower. Looks like that is working well so I am going to continue the same process. It's day 56. I have lot of excitement to share today. I have three gems. One here. Excellent progress so far. And one more here another excellent progress and the third one is here this one is also showing excellent progress in addition to these three i also see a few baby watermelons they are showing nice progress wow that's a lot of news for today really amazing it's day 63 the plant is doing good and the watermelons are growing nice this is the first watermelon showing nice progress and here is the second one it is small but showing good progress coming to third watermelon looks like it is giving up i see it is turning yellow compared to other watermelons this looks pretty yellow so it looks like it is giving up I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this watermelon but one thing I can suspect with the lead pot system is the pump. The pump is very weak. Look at this. Luckily the pump is running at the moment so I can show you evidently how weak the pump is. It is barely moving the water. I think because of this weak pump the water is not circulating very well and the oxygenization is also not happening very well. This could be the reason the plant is doing a little bit weak and this watermelon is giving up. But anyway, I am not super concerned. I still see two watermelons growing nice. They are green and looking healthy. So I am hopeful on one of these watermelons. It's day 72. The watermelons are still green. I don't see any significant growth on these watermelons but they are staying green. So I am assuming they are growing very slow or they could be stunted one issue i found with this system is this system comes with uh, two grow modes many systems like this like i do spider farmer mars hydro lot of hydroponic systems comes with uh, two grow modes they are wedge and herb mode and flower and fruit mode since i see the fruit on this plant i switched this garden to fruit and flower mode so this will turn off the blue lights on the system when the blue lights are turned off, the foliage got slowed down. You can see all this yellow growth because I turned off the blue lights for a long time as I switched to flower and fruit mode. That's a mistake actually. We should never use fruit and flower mode because the plants need foliage all the time. Luckily, I realized that and I switched it back to wedge and herb mode. With that, I see a little bit of green again. So hopefully this plant is going to survive and these watermelons continue to grow. But as of now, that was the situation and the watermelons got stunted a little bit. And the other thing is, this watermelon is completely yellow. I have no hope on this plant and this also got a little bit soft. So, so I'm totally giving up on this watermelon. I'm going to cut it and trash it.
here it is i don't think this is edible but just for fun i am going to cut it and let's see the inside all right this is purely fun i'm not going to eat it but look at this wow it definitely has the watermelon structure i see all these seeds oh it also smells like watermelon already haha uh -huh. actually let me give it a taste test hope i am not going to die not bad actually it tastes nothing basically it didn't develop any fruit taste i feel little bit of watermelon flavor but literally almost no taste but it's fun it's day 79 somehow the watermelons got stuck here they are not growing any big they started changing the colors as well looks like they are going to stay here and turn into ripening stage they are pretty hard so i'm not too much concerned but i am concerned about the size let's see it's day 86 the watermelons are not growing anymore they are just hanging there in terms of size but they started changing the color that's really good news looks like they are ripening very well the other watermelon is even smaller and this one also started changing the colors so that's really good news little disappointed that they are very small but as long as they are ripe and taste good i'm okay with it the plant is still doing good it is producing new flowers and i am continuing to pollinate them i don't see the flowers are surviving but i'm doing my best to pollinate the flowers using the same method that is tapping the male flower on female flower let's see if i can get any more new watermelons it's day 101 look at these watermelons they are super bright golden yellow both watermelons are looking same lots of golden yellow there is teeny bit of green left on uh, both watermelons but most of it like 95% of it is golden yellow so it's time to harvest this both watermelons wow look at this now let's cut these watermelons and give them a taste test wow look at this it's not deep red color but i'm sure this is going to be nice the seeds are already turning black so this is perfectly ripened now cut the second one Wow look at this this is also very well ripened as the seeds are turning black I think I can save these seeds and uh, use them I'm going to collect these and uh, save them Now I will give it a taste test Wow it's very nice very sweet lot of juice as it stands it's a watermelon and it is very tasty very flavorful i love it all right that was a lot of fun and so much satisfaction growing my own watermelon and enjoying it straight out of the plant this plant is not done yet i see lots of new development and i also see some flowers showing up i don't see any female flowers yet these are male flowers but I see lots of uh, female flowers also coming up these are the female flower buds so this plant is not done yet i'm going to let it go as long as it survives in this garden i normally get tempted to pull out the plant as soon as i learned everything from that experiment 
but I'm not going to pull out these plants. I will let them go as long as they survive in this garden. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.